Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python unit testing tutorial for beginners using PyTest. In the last video, we were able to create our unit test and run them using PyTest. Now in the last video, I have created two tests and these were the tests I have written for these two simple functions, which were product and the add function. So in the last video, we have written two test functions for our add and product functions, which were able to test those functions using these numbers. Now, additionally, I have added two more test functions here and these two test functions I have added to test the strings with the add function and the product function. So using this plus operator, we can also add two strings, right? So I have added the string test for the add function and the product function here. Now, the first thing I want to show here is you can add any comparison operator here. So it's not necessary that you need to use this equal to operator here. You can also write, for example, greater than operator or greater than equals to operator or the less than operator or less than equals to operator or not equals to operator. So you can use all these comparison operator with your assert statement. Additionally, you can use this is keyword to test whether something is something. So using this is keyword, I'm testing here that the result which I got using this add function over the strings is it a string or not? So using this type, I'm just finding out the type of the result and I'm checking if this result is a string or not. You can also use in operator or not in operator. So using this not in keyword, we are checking whether this string is inside our result or not. So this string or let's say this string is not inside our result. So this assert is going to pass because this string is not present in our result. Additionally, you can also use this in keyword and uh, you can check whether some uh, string is inside your result or not. So I can also write hello in result, which will check if this keyword is inside our result or not. Now the next thing which I want to show here is let's say you just want to run one test from here which is test add and you don't want to run any other test how you can do it using command line so you can just write py test command and the name of your test file which is test underscore math underscore func in my case and then you can add double colon here and then give the name of your test so let's say I just want to run the test add. So I'm going to just run this test and you can see it's going to only run the first test. Let me just add minus V here, which is going to show which test has passed. And you can see this test has been passed, which is test add. And let me just clear the terminal. Now the next option, which I want to show here is hyphen K. So once again, I'm going to just write pi test here and we will uh, once again add the hyphen V for verbose and you can use a special option which is hyphen K and then you can give any expression which you want to match using this hyphen K option. So let's say we only want to run the add test. So we have two add test. One is test underscore add and other is test underscore add underscore string. So I just want to run the test for the add function. So here inside the double quotes, I can just write add and then press enter. And it's going to run the test which contains add keyword or add string. So you can see it ran test underscore add and test underscore add underscore string. You can also use or operator here. So let's say you want to run the test which contains add or which contains string keyword. And when I'm going to run the test, it's going to run all those tests which contains either add or the string keyword. So there are three tests which fulfills this condition 
and all those three tests are performed and other test will be deselected. So you can see four item and one item is deselected here. Also, you can use the and instead of or. So I'm going to just write and and then press enter. And it's going to run only those tests which contains add and string both. So there is only one test name which contains add and string both which is this one so only this will be executed and the other three tests will be deselected let me once again clear the terminal now the next option which i want to show here is the hyphen m option so once again i'm going to just write here hyphen m and after this hyphen m you can provide any mark expression so let me go to my code and here I just need to import the pytest first of all. So let me import uh, pytest and here you will see that it's showing me the squiggly line because of my IDE which is pycharm. So because I have installed pytest using pip on the command line which is not recognized by my pycharm IDE that's why it's showing me this squiggly line but I'm running my test using command line. So this will work. So don't worry about this squiggly line. The import will work. And after that, what I can do here is I can add a decorator. So I can just write pytest dot mark dot any expression which you want to give here. So this test add and test product is for the numbers. So we can write number here and also we can add the same decorator for the test product and for the other two tests we can uh, just write that these tests are for the strings so this expression is upon you so you can give any expression here which you want to match later using hyphen m option so i'm going to also add this decorator over the other string function also so we have two markers now one is number and other is the string so now after hyphen m you can give the mark expression name so let's say i'm going to just write number here and then press enter and it's going to run all the tests which have the mark number which is the test add and test product now let's run the test which have the mark string so i'm going to just write string and then press enter and it's showing me four d selected because i forgot this s after the string so let me just add this s and then press enter again and you can see it runs only those tests which have string mark on top of them so this is the string and this is the string mark so those two tests were executed and other two tests were deselected let me just clear the terminal once again now the next option which i want to show here is hyphen x option so once again, I'm going to just write pytest hyphen V and then hyphen X. Now this hyphen X means exist first. So whenever first failure occurs in your test, the pytest will exit from the execution of your test. So let's just uh, add some uh, failure assertion here. So I'm going to add the failure here. So let's say I'm just uh, checking the failed assertion here just to check whether this hyphen x works or not so i'm going to just press enter now and you can see first test was run which was passed but the other test failed so it has shown us the stack trace of the failed test and after that the text execution was stopped so after two tests because the failure occurred the other two tests which was supposed to be executed are not executed because of this hyphen x option so as soon as the first failure occurs your test will exit now let's say you don't want to see this tech trace after the failure of your test so this is all the information which is given to you about what assertion has failed or not so let's say we don't want to see this so how to uh, just uh, skip that stack trace you can add hyphen hyphen tb is equal to no and this is going to disable the stack trace and then press enter 
and you can see now this text trace is not printed only the success or the failure will be printed but not the stack trace let me clear the terminal once again and this time i want to show one more option which is max fail so here you can just write hyphen hyphen max fail option and then give the number in front of it after the equals to symbol so let's say we just write max fail 2 here then it's going to wait for the maximum number of failure and then it will exit so let me just run this test so you can see all four tests has been executed because maximum failure we were expecting is 2 that's why all four were executed because there was only one failure let's say I just make it 1 so now the value of max fail is 1 and then I press enter and you will see after the first failure it's going to exit because we have provided max fail 1 and this is the number of failures which we are expecting after that your test will be exited so let me just clear the terminal once again and let me show you one more option so this time I want to show you the skip option so let's say I just uh, remove all these markers from here and and now I want to add a mark which is skip so just add this decorator on top of your test which is at the rate test dot mark dot skip and then inside the parenthesis you can give the reason for the skip so here you can uh, just write uh, reason equals and whatever reason you want to give here so i'm going to just write do not run number add test okay so this is the reason which will be printed and when i will uh, just execute my test once again with hyphen v you can see this first test is skipped so it's not executed it's skipped and all the other three tests were executed let me just fix this second test so it's going to pass and once again let me just run this uh, test and you can see all other tests were passed and the first test is skipped because we have added this skip decorator on top of the test add function also there is a skip if option available so here instead of skip you can just write skip if so this skip if is going to check for some condition so let's say i'm going to import the sys module here which is going to give me the information about the python version i'm running and then as a first argument i can first of all give some condition so i'm going to just write sys dot version info which is going to give me the version of python available and i'm going to check if this version is less than let's say 3.3 then i want to skip this test so i'm going to once again let me clear the terminal and once again run the test and i see some failure here which is uh, here i added dot instead of comma so you need to separate this major and minor version using comma so this means 3.3 python version and once again i'm going to run the tests and then press enter and now you can see all four tests were executed because this condition was not met now let's say i want to just uh, give the opposite condition of that which means i want to skip if i have the python version greater than 3.3 which i have i have the python version 3.7 let's check it using uh, python command so i'm going to just write python hyphen hyphen uh, version and then press enter and you can see i have 3.7.0 version and let's run the test once again and now you can see this test is skipped because this condition is met now the next option i want to show here is hyphen s option so let me just make this condition like this so this test will not be skipped and the next option we are going to see is the hyphen s option so let me clear the terminal and let's see which option i'm talking about which is hyphen s and this option you can use to print any output which you want to print using let's say print function 
So let's say I want to add a print statement here. So I'm going to just add print and then let's say I want to just print the addition of 7 and 3 and for just knowing whether this uh, print statement has been executed I'm going to add this uh, string here so we know that this print statement has been executed. So now when I execute my PyTest without the hyphen s option first you will see there is no print statement which is executed. Now if I just add hyphen s here which will allow this print statement to be executed and now you will see that this print statement has been executed and this line is printed using this print statement. So if you want to print all the print statements then use hyphen s option or you can also use the option which is hyphen hyphen capture is equal to no and then press enter which is also going to do the same. So either you can use hyphen s or you can use hyphen hyphen capture is equal to no. So let me clear this terminal one last time and the last option which I want to show here is the hyphen q option which is the quiet mode. So let me just execute this pi test once again and you can see all this information is printed. And when I add minus q here which is the quiet mode you can see no information is printed here about the test which test is passed only the important information is printed which is four test passed in this much amount of seconds if i remove the hyphen v here from here you will see all the other output is gone and only four passed in whatever amount of seconds is printed so this is the quiet mode which will not print unnecessary information it's going to just show you how many tests passed and how many tests failed so this is how you can use some options with pytest command i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video